Former Minister Sri Samse Rana sir, welcome in this episode of Gorkha Spirit. Thank you. Uh, how do you see the current political scenario of Nepal? I used to say that it was very fluid. Now it's falling. I am worried that uh, uh, if something is not done to arrest this fall, uh, it may be beyond repair. We are in a, a very, very soft position. Okay. Uh, some leaders, uh, including Parsandai as well, announced publicly to support them from by the international society. Mm -hmm. Is it a good a good practice to call no, the international uh, power centers in Nepal? The point is they have been gaining by such calls. Yeah. Uh, the current uh, uh, politics is being fueled uh, by foreign interests. And it would seem political for our leaders to their support. I am not surprised. That's how they are where they are. Okay, uh, uh, how do you see the NCP dispute uh, at this moment? I'm sorry, MCP? Nepal Communist Party, NCP. Oh, NCP. Uh, they are just repeating the old uh, partisan traits. You see, it's a... Parties have to be actually coalition of interest. Uh, what the current dispute admits to is that the constitution, uh, the current constitution is a document of shared interest. Uh, what uh, the prime minister says is that he was not allowed to function uh, because uh, uh, his uh, competitors within the party and outside uh, insist on their claim to interests. That is what the current constitution is about. It is a constitution built on the understanding that they will share their interests. Okay, uh, people now remember the former king. Uh -huh. uh, uh, why is it so difficult to run the government here uh, without the king? What are the reasons behind this uh, is responsible? What is so blatant is that uh, the Nepalese monarchy is the sole institution uh, that uh, exists for Nepalese interest. What our party leaders have demonstrated is they are very parochial, partisan interest and it exceeds uh, the interests of the nation. That is what they have demonstrated. Okay, uh, why king at this time? Well, the absence of the monarchy is uh, uh, so obvious in policies, you see. We are uh, not acting in national interest. We are acting in partisan interest. Our leaders claim that their interests uh, alone can fulfill the interests of the nation, which is not true. When uh, a ceremonial president uh, is asked to uh, endorse government interest, and it does, uh, the opposition says it is not in national or constitutional interest, which is itself contradictory, you see. Okay, uh, without uh, the king, the government, to run the government without the king, uh -huh. why is it so difficult? Well, 
governments have run without the king also. We uh, see now. But, but, but governments uh, have to consider uh, the constitution uh, as a, a supreme guarantor of national interest. That is not being echoed in behavior. That's the problem. Okay. How, how long will it take to restore monarchy in Nepal, uh, in your views? Is it possible? We must make it possible. That's the point, you see. The king has failed. Fifteen years ago, the mon monarchy was made to fail. The monarchy's uh, attempts to shore up the constitution uh, was misinterpreted and foreign in interests dominated in guiding our politics uh, to dethrone the king. The country suffers, we are suffering. Okay. How long it will take? Well, after 15 years of saying that we have gone on the wrong course in constitutionalism, people are gradually seeing the benefit of restoring the uh, 1990 constitution. It will have to take a, a united form in one way or the other on the streets. See, because uh, the mainstream parties... Uh, would actually be undercutting themselves uh, if they advocate uh, the restoration of the monarchy or the restoration of the 2000, okay, 1990 constitution. They would be undercutting themselves and foreign interests uh, would not find it too suitable. So it is the people that must come down. I mean, that's what I've been saying. They have to get, get out of the pockets of the political parties. They have to show themselves in the streets. They have to ask for the restoration of the 1990 constitution. Do you believe that uh, the uh, monarchy will be um, re restoration someday? Do you uh, believe? Well, I think we all should work for it if we want to preserve the country. Okay, these uh, circumstances, uh, uh, it means uh, uh, it shows the restoration of monarchy. I couldn't get a question. Okay, um, these uh, circumstances, uh, disputes uh -huh. between the parties, uh, uh -huh. uh, these uh, difficulties, uh, it shows to restore, uh, restore the monarchy. It is the, the sign, sign of a restoration no, of monarchy. No, you can't restore the monarchy by default. You see, the monarchy will come when a constitutional environment uh, endorses it. And that constitutional endorsement would come when the people would ask for that constitution. You see, we cannot allow our uh, political leaders to be beyond the constitution and run amok as it was done in 2006. The point is they have the organization. The other people have to... Uh, sort of reject the monopoly of the political parties who contributed to this mess. They are still contributing to the mess. Okay, uh, we normally, intellectuals, people, uh, everybody knows that uh, foreign interests, there are some certain foreign interests over Nepal. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of foreign interest uh, here at present do you see? You see, Other countries have their interests. Uh, that these interests should show so blatantly in Nepal uh, reflects the fact that our interests are not overwhelming our conduct. That's the problem. Uh, if we are to accept the fact that uh, political interests, foreign political interests, will be allowed to run our uh, government policies, 
uh, we stand nowhere. How can we exist without a national interest? So what kind of uh, interest uh, do you see at this time? There what are many there are strategic interests, there are economic interests. You know, uh, the world is evolving. We talk so much of a, uh, yeah, a global village. We are shrinking, so there are very many interests in Nepal. Nepal is a strategic country. We are in between two giant, fast developing countries. We have our interests, we have an, our economic interests, we would like to be an independent economy. Okay. Uh, to what extent we are going to compromise that uh, is a matter of national policy. Uh, I don't see much of a national policy. Uh, I see foreign lobbies working uh, in the uh, conduct of our national policy. And I see uh, Nepalese politicians catering to those foreign lobbies, uh, which is hindering our development. Okay, uh, for their interest, especially international power centers are using uh, political parties, uh, their leaders, uh, mm -hmm. and even the people say, people analyze, analyze, mm -hmm. uh, analyst uh, just uh, analyze that uh, they are using the king also. Uh, they said. Do you think so? No, I think uh, the king wouldn't have left his throne. Uh, he's, he's done it very symbolically. He said, you know, that uh, this is the people's uh, uh, Nepalese throne or the Nepalese monarchy becomes, uh, belongs to the Nepali people. I think he wouldn't have left it if he were to bow, if he would have bowed down to uh, foreign interests. That's where he scores. That's where the Nepalese population turned to the king. Yeah. They want him back. And so, do you believe that they are using political parties and their leaders? Well, the 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 foreign interests. Foreign interests. Interest of course, they are. They have been using it. They admit to it. Uh, you yourself asked in your question that uh, Prachanda asked foreign interests to help them. So they, it's it's a uh, very open page these days. Okay, at last, uh, do you want to say anything to the people? Well, the people have to recognize this. Get out of the monopoly. I mean, we have to spin ourselves out of the current uh, current rigmarole. We have to say what we want as a, as a citizen. We have to assert for national interest. Since we are citizens of this country, what is our country's interest and how much our leaders are sabotaging it, we are gradually recognizing it. Thank you, sir, for joining with us. Thank you.